art idea comes from Damien, an incredible third grader at BGS. Damien has been exploring the Titanic tragedy on many levels. He has recreated the ship using accessible building materials and has considered the impact of this great tragedy at sea from over a hundred years ago. It might surprise you to learn that many artists have been inspired by the story of the Titanic and created everything from songs to paintings to even Broadway musicals. Take this painting, for example, by artist Ken Marshall. When I was in third grade, I begged my father to take me to a movie called Raise the Titanic. While the movie wasn't exactly a smash hit at the box office, it did address a lot of people's curiosity about a ship that would not even be found in the Atlantic Ocean for another five years. Movies, paintings, poems, and even theater all became the expression for this tragic story. Let's have a peek at what the musical theater looked like. SOS. Titanic, SOS. Iceberg right ahead! We're taking on water in the boiler rooms. Well, in the meantime, Captain, I see no need to alarm the passengers. What is it? What's going on? There's a terrible scream noise and we just stopped. What are we supposed to do now? I'm going upstairs. I'll have a look. As I say goodbye And keep your image In my memory's eye And all this love of ours Will so Come dawn or danger We'll meet tomorrow And have each other To Damien's work. What I really like most about it is he really tried to visualize what it would be like for 1,500 people to be stranded at sea. Exploring humanity's tragedies has been a subject of art through the ages. Some of the most powerful examples that come to mind are some of our war memorials, but also a particularly sad one called Shoes on the Danube was a memorial to the thousands of Jewish people that lost their lives in Hungary in World War II. It may look like these are ordinary shoes that might be blown into the sea, but they are actually made of iron and are permanent to the riverbank so that people will never forget lives lost in the war. Another powerful work in which thousands of artists have come together is the names Project Memorial Quilt, also known as the AIDS Memorial Quilt. And it is a growing project in that it gets bigger and bigger all the time. This consists of 48,000 individual memorial panels. So 94,000 people are commemorated by this and it weighs an estimated 54 tons. This next work of art is widely regarded as a powerful work, but more importantly, it's actually considered the second most recognizable work of art next to Leonardo da Vinci's The Mona Lisa. You have probably guessed it's Edward Munch's The Scream. Now it might surprise a lot of people to know that it's actually not the subject's screaming, but he's actually covering his ears to avoid hearing the scream of nature. They discovered this from a journal entry written by the artist. This work is considered an expressionistic masterpiece because it is more about the emotional quality of the work rather than the technique. Can't you feel that guy's anxiety? So here's my question. Why do artists turn sad events into art or focus on emotional qualities within their artwork. Some people might wonder about the value of artwork that dwells on tragedy or sad emotions, but one thing we can be sure of is these subjects point to something key 
to what it means to be human. Is it possible that this kind of artwork helps people to process or work through scary things? How do scary or sad events from the past help us to understand or find perspective with the things that seem confusing or scary today? Why do certain events resonate or bring up feelings, memories of images more than others? These things obviously strike a chord with people. In fact, the movie that about the Titanic that came out in 1997 still continues to be the third highest grossing movie of all time. Take that, Avengers. I'm definitely not referring to the one I saw in 1980. This has been today's Art Moment, brought to us by Damien. Thank you so much for your wonderful topic. I hope you feel we did it justice. If you have any great ideas, uh, please send them my way. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.